So in this building, the air handlers are outside on the wall and there's no other way I can actually get to them and test um, because I can't uh, get after the coil anywhere up there because they're built right into the wall. So I'm going to catch the two ducks that supply and return as they go into the air handler right here as close as I can. I'm going to make a tiny hole in the left and a tiny hole in the right of this duct. This is before and after the coil or the air handler. It's really close to the air handler actually. The coil's right on the wall there. So um, that's why I'm going to make my hole. I'm going to use this drill bit. Just make a small little hole big enough only to put those probes in. And then I'm going to take the readings. So I got the probes installed up here on the ladder. That'll fall off the ladder. There's the two probes. And then the, in as close to the wall, pretty much as, as I can get them. I'll probably get them a little closer, but um, should be able to get some readings from there. So uh, that's it. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to pull those out of there, patch up those holes. And uh, that's it. The wire's going far, right up in the ceiling. The air handler's outside. Okay, I just got done taking the readings. I wrote them all down on this piece of paper. There's your dry bulb, your DP, your RH, and your WB. Those are all the readings I took. I put the before on top, and then I'm going to have the after over here once we're done with it. And I'm going to put that, um, and just do basically do the same thing. And the way I did it is all I do is just scroll through this parameters button. Each time I push it, it goes to the next one. So you can see it right here. Just watch that, and as I scroll through the parameter button, it gets to the next one. And then I take the readings. See how I, as I scroll through them, it moves each time? Okay, so this is the after test. And I'm going to just grab the meter. I just left it up here. Everything's still here. I don't have to cut any holes or anything. The supply and return are there. The supply's on the right, the return's on the left. Okay, so I'm going to come down here, I'll show you how to turn this thing on and take the readings. So the next parameter is going to be DB, which is dry bulb, and the return, or no, the supply, I'm sorry, is 62 point, let's go with 4, Okay. and the return is 80.4, holding steady. Now we're going to go to the next parameter by clicking this parameter button right here. I'm going to go to the next one, click, and that one is going to be the RH. Is that RH? RH. Okay, we're on RH. The supply is going to be... Eight five point eight. 